Hello fellow drum roll makers, my name is Jamie Locke with jamielockarts.com. With Valentine's Day quickly approaching, I wanted to show you a quick and inexpensive gift idea that involves carving a mandala onto a wine glass, a handmade gift that your sweetheart, family, and friends will no doubt love and appreciate. For this project, you'll need your Dremel rotary tool, and I recommend using a flex shaft attachment for a bit more precision, or your Dremel Micro, which is what I'll be using today. I also use two different sizes in the diamond wheel points, number 7103 for finer details and number 7105 for outlining and shading. You'll also want wine glasses. Any that you can find around the house would be great, with stem, without stem, or a pint glass if you prefer. You'll also want to remember your dusk mask and safety glasses. And finally, download and print out the mandala template provided in the link below. So let's go ahead and get started. Once you download and print out your mandala template, go ahead and cut it down to size and fix tape to the back side so you can then adhere it to the inside of your wine glass, like so. And then, beginning with the number 7105, which is the larger of the two diamond wheel points, the idea is to simply etch the mandala design into your wine glass using the template as your guide. So if you're new to glass etching, I recommend first practicing on an empty sauce jar or an empty jam jar. And also to remember to always hold your Dremel at more of an angle rather than perpendicular to the glass. It gives you much more control. And also for a bit more leverage, I have found that a roll of paper towels helps me maintain a steady hand as I'm working on glassware. And above all, practice and then more practice is key in gaining a steady hand and more precision in your glass etching. So with dust mask and safety glasses in place, we are ready to etch. We will bump this up to 20,000 RPMs to start. Right, here we go. So there we have it. We have now etched a mandala onto the wine glass. And so I take the template out now, and then I add a piece of black paper to the back of my mandala design. I always like to retrace my outline to create a bolder line. Also, it helps uh, when I add fine details such as scallops and uh, dot work or line work uh, to the mandala to create a more intricate design, um, I'm better able to see what I'm doing. And I'll talk about that in just a minute. So here we are. After tracing the mandala with my Dremel, the design is a bit more bold on the glass. Now you can stop here, or you can add a few more design elements within the mandala to create an intricate and striking design. And I'll show you how to do that coming up in the next step. So for this next step, I switched out my 7105 to my 7103 diamond wheel point. Uh, this is the smallest point of them two, and that'll allow for greater detail within your design. So some of my favorite design elements in mandala are things such as the scalloped edge, which is simply... that. I'm going to take that design all the way around, add it to each triangle. Another one is one scallop. on top of that. Another one is, I'll call it the lollipop, which is a line and a circle on top. Do another one here and another one there. You can also add another triangle again this triangle 
and then a teardrop on the inside of the scallop. And so this, those are just a few design elements that will add a bit more detail to your mandala. Oh my baby, too, if that brings true for you, there's so many answers to the question. So there you are. The same mandala, which is a bit more intricate detail. The possibilities in adding to this design are endless. And either way, this handmade Dremel gift will no doubt delight your favorite wine or beer enthusiast. I hope I've been able to inspire you here today. I would love to see your completed hand-etched mandala wine or pint glasses. If you're on Instagram, make sure you tag your photos with hashtag Dremel gifts. Until next time, happy Dremel making.